Hello and welcome to a vlog update video. We thought it was a great point in the travel series just to check in with everybody real time. This time it's from Ireland. So firstly, we're going to let you know what is coming up in this video. Definitely going to talk about our little accident, but that's going to be in a few minutes. We thought we should kind of cover things in the order in which they happened. And also we're going to talk about calling it quits. Maybe not quite what you think, but it is on the other side of the pond. We will have chapters in this vlog update, so if you want to skip around to different topics, you can do that, but stick with us and find out what we've been up to and what's coming up. Welcome to a video from Ireland in our European Van Life series. We are Ben, Rebecca, and Lucia. In 2021, we shipped our 4x4 camper van Denny across the Atlantic in search of new experiences and adventures. Welcome to the journey. Well, let's get started with our Ireland travels. Ireland has been great. The uh, land is gorgeous. The people are nice. The food is good and there's free camping everywhere. What more could a guy like me ask for? We do have a little bit of a sneak peek for your viewing pleasure right now. you enjoyed that sneak preview now I just finished editing the first six videos from Ireland and they are scheduled out weekly over the next six weeks but for our outliers community we do have all six and that's over two hours of video content waiting for you in the membership section while our first month in Ireland was I would say beyond spectacular Real life got a hold of us in our second month and it was completely the opposite. So it started off with catching a little bug we've managed to avoid for the past two and a half years. That sucked. Really I was actually was. kind of proud of myself. <laughs> we, we did have that badge of honor of having not dealt with it yet. Not so anymore. needless to say, it was a really rough and miserable couple of weeks. Yep. So while all this was happening, we were also having phone problems and that sucks, especially when you work from them and you know, they are all kind of personal part of our lives these days, let's face it. Uh, my supposedly water resistant iPhone was not and my screen is all jacked up now. Rebecca's iPhone is pretty Aging. darn old <laughs> and holding on by a thread. So thus started a three week and still ongoing debacle of shipping, getting phones and shipping phones to us here in Ireland. Yeah, so it started with uh, trying to get the phones from AT&T to my mom. And just so you know, we chose to get American phones to make sure they would be compatible when we go back home. And so, they also gave a good deal did, because like the 14s price. are coming out. So, exactly. Yeah. So. AT&T messed up everything and it took 10 days instead of overnight to get the phones to my mom. And then something happened with FedEx and it literally like check marked a wrong box and made it look like the package was returning to Ireland. And so there's supposed to be some export form that obviously we didn't have. Yeah. It took 10 days for them to convert it over to no, this is just a gift coming from the States. Anyway, 
the icing on the cake now. <laughs> customs, after they cleared customs, now FedEx has lost the box with our phones in them. They have not been scanned since they cleared customs four days ago. If it's not one thing, <laughs> it is another. It's just everything's just a little bit harder. <laughs> oh, yes, just it a is. little bit. It's definitely been a frustrating experience, but on the positive side, we kind of fell behind on work while we were sick. We're all caught up on it now and ready to travel again. Well, now it's time to talk about that glamour shot of a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, it was not as bad as it looked. That was an intense picture. Aside from the point when there was a chunk of glass sticking out from your uh, eyebrow. Luckily, it was just stuck in the hairs, mm. not in the skin. <laughs> anyway, this past week, we went to town for errands. And on the way back to our parking spot, had a bit of an accident. Uh, this, after almost just shy of a year traveling in Europe with no troubles, was actually the second time this has happened to us in Ireland. And essentially what it was is uh, an oncoming lorry made contact with the mirror on our passenger side, because of course we're driving on the wrong side of the road. Uh, the first time, I, I stick my hand out the window just a little bit, never past the mirror for safety, to get the photos, videos, and I just pulled my hand back in when one slammed into the mirror and it ran yeah. against the truck. It's all in those videos that are yep. coming. coming. The second time, no damage. The second time, scuff marks. Not so lucky. Not so lucky. It slammed into the truck and the glass on the mirror shattered. Um, Lucy was not hurt. I went like this and luckily protected her. Um, <clears throat> took the brunt of it to my face and my arm. Um, but you can see it's, it's only been a few days and it's all healing back up. I have matching scars on my cheeks now, I'm sure. And yeah, life but goes on. one thing that truck a couple days ago had was like a, a roll cage Metal protective grate. bar mm -hmm. around the mirrors. So Which you're like armed you. to bump mirrors and win. We're not armed to bump mirrors and win. And when you talk to locals, everybody's like, this happens all the time and yeah. they never stop yeah. and it's a horrible thing. And exactly. We're not well-trained drivers, blah, blah, blah. So. so if this was like our first week in Ireland and driving on the left side of the road, I'd say it's probably my fault. Like I'm <laughs> hugging the white line a little too much, but we've been here like five months well, and, and Cornwall, the roads Cornwall roads. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm always like when I'm driving or my mirror over here is always hitting in branches. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. Like, like the roads are that narrow here. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It. I'm a little on edge after it it's happening twice now. We all now. are. We all. You know, are Lucy like even her. ducks when uh, big semis come <laughs> she her does. way. She's figured out the connection. Yeah. <laughs> so. But bottom line, nobody was severely injured. We have to get a small mirror replacement for the truck, but mm, yeah. uh, it could have been so much worse. And we're really grateful that that's all that happened. It's okay. All right, moving on to talking about future events. I think it is safe to say that Ben and I mutually yeah. are both the most road weary we have ever been in seven years of travel. I think it's a culmination of things, the pandemic. Everybody's exhausted after that. Uh, the huge push that it took mentally and physically and financially and every other possible way to get to Europe. Uh, to actually have been on the road for two years with minimal breaks. So a couple of short Airbnb stays and three months of renovating the truck last year, which let's just say not a vacation no. or, a, or a rest from the truck folks. That was not a very all. miserable <laughs> truck renovation experience. So we are extremely tired. Maybe the most tired we've ever been. And frustrated. Like. Frustrated too, yes. But you also gotta think, it's the amount of time, like living in a box that's six and a half wide by 13 long, it really does start to wear on you. It does. So it's time for a break, a little bit of a change. So things have been put into motion and we are heading back to the United States, sort of. We'll buy plane tickets once those damn phones arrive and are in our hands. Denny is going into a covered, secured storage facility for the winter. 
and we rented a small casita one row of houses back from the beach just south of the Tijuana border which is the San Diego border. Probably the most important point to make here is we're not giving up yeah. in any way shape or form. This is actually executing something we have dreamed of and talked about yeah. being able to do for years which is travel part of the time and have something of a home base balance right uh we are always either fully on or fully off and we're trying to find a place in the middle um you know the home base part well our house since we came across <laughs> the pond is not fully rented because our bedroom close. and office is still intact but the two downstairs basements are, rooms are rented and the back mother-in-law suite is rented. So pretty much, I don't want to go share the house with all those people. And we don't want to so, sit in the and dark And who the hell the wants to sit all winter in Alaska if you've done enough of them as we have? <laughs> Which is another reason you might ask, why not just do this here? But it's pretty cold and dark in Europe Wet. in the wintertime too. Yeah. Um, and visa restrictions mean we can only stay in places for a few months. And this is gonna be a little bit of a longer rest than 90 days. We really need it. Well, stability is nice because we are just like you and we have adulting to do. There's scans and scopes and lab work and eye exams and Medicine cleanings refills. and refills, <laughs> all kinds of stuff that needs to be taken care of. And if we're just one hour below the border, we can utilize the really good facilities in Mexico or if we opt to go north of the border to San Diego. Okay. It seems to work, but in the end, I think life does not have to be one dimensional. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. No. That's what we finally are at the place where we can do this, yeah. this way. And so. we're seeking balance. Mm -hmm. And sure, there's gonna be an expense to renting a place on the beach in Mexico, but you know what? <laughs> you should see what we're putting in for fuel on this beast mm -hmm. and some of the cost of living things. So it's probably going to be a, a wash, wash and we just need to focus on adulting and self-care. Once we've had a nice rest in Mexico, plan is to return back to Ireland, pick up Denny in the springtime, travel for a yet to be determined period of time, and then take a break again. Uh, when this is all said and done, we've joked about this, mm -hmm. we'll have a house in Alaska, a home in Mexico, and a home in Europe. Boom, we're pimping, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, so stay tuned as this all unfolds, as we fly across the pond and uh, start a new chapter of temporary life in Baja. I think that about does it. It's probably time to wrap this thing up. So uh, once this phone debacle gets a Dissolved. modicum of resolution, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get back on the road for a few weeks here in Ireland and explore the southern half of this beautiful island, capture as much footage as we can for you guys so that you have even more time of Ireland. And then we're gonna catch a flight back to the US. Yep. So thank you for, for that. Uh, you know, you nailed that, so I'm just gonna roll with this. So thank you for watching a vlog update video. We hope uh, this video finds everybody happy, healthy, and safe.